friend Heidi Black here and you know I've been talking with a number of people the last few days I feel like there's a lot of misinformation about about a number of things <laughs> you know and depending on your source for information and news uh, you may or may not be getting the full truth and that's true in every area of our life now this message I believe is pertinent to everyone no matter what stage of life you're in this is not a business specific message this is not a faith specific message this is not a family specific this is actually all kind of an all-in-one because as we all know the thing is never about the thing everything is about everything and you know how we do anything is how we do everything period so it's all it's all connected you know something heavy on my heart and I really haven't done a lot of videos the last few weeks just life and school and you know business and everything but I want to set the record straight on a few things. Um, you know, what we see happening in our world to begin with. I mean, no matter who you are, whether you're an entrepreneur or not, it can be scary to, if, if you watch the news, and I choose not to in our home, we don't watch a lot of TV or news, period, but it can be really intimidating to see what's happening in our world right now. And frankly, like, while I said this is not a faith-based message, it's, you know, part of who I am is my identity in Jesus Christ. And I don't know how any of you listening are, are operating and functioning without a very real relationship and hope in Jesus Christ, you know, and if you want to talk more about that, reach out to me. We can talk about what that means because I've done life with and with, without, and I don't know how I'd be functioning or operating or, or having hope to know that even in the midst of all the mess, I'm good, okay? And it's not about religion. I'm talking about a real relationship. All right, but again, that's not the, the focus of this message. I also see a lot happening in the home-based business industry. And while, again, it's all connected, it's all integrated, what we see happening in the home business industry, I believe, is not unique to the industry. Uh, you know, a lot of jumping and moving and, and slandering and lies and half-truths and just a lot of mess. And again, this is not an industry-specific conversation. I believe it is a character issue. I believe it's a human nature, lack of wisdom, lack of knowledge, lack of maturity that affects every area of our life. And I say that because now if you're married, you know, it's easy to go, gosh, you know, I'm, I'm bored with this situation. What, what looks more interesting outside of what I'm doing now? Or I'm just tired of taking care of my body. I'm going to stop exercising and working out and I'm going to go do something else. Uh, you know, whether it's your health, whether it's your marriage, whether it's your business, whether it's your faith, you get to decide when, when, when things are not ideal and perfect, that's when, you know, what's inside you comes out. That's when you get to prove who you really are. What does your identity lie in? Who, what do you stand for? And I share this today because I want, to, I want to set the record straight. The reality is that I've made a decision to partner with a company about a year and a half ago. And I can tell you today, I am more proud about that decision than ever before. Is everything perfect? No. Has everything been just a cakewalk? No. And that's, that's true of every area of our life. How committed are you to the areas that you call your priorities? In my case, my identity does not lie in a company or in a product or, or even in, in any title or you know, thing that I do. That is not my identity, that's not who I am. It's something, it's something that I do. You know, I, I know who I am. And if you don't know who you are and where your strength comes from, and if you don't have the maturity to handle things when times get tough in your marriage, in your business, you're gonna look for the easy way out. And I see that happening across the network marketing industry right now. In my own company, I see that happening when we have something very special and very unique. People that I know and respect, people I have a relationship with that are communicating things that are not completely true. So just get to the source of information, people that you look to as your news source in whatever it is, you know, whatever industry you're, you're seeking, whether it's political news or network marketing news or family news. You know, don't, don't choose one source and have that be the Bible of what something is. Get to the root of what, you know, and the source. Um, get back to, to the source of where the information comes from and not relying on someone's opinion, not even mine, you know. I'm just speaking from my personal experience, what I can tell you, what I have experienced, what I know to be true. I work with Forever Green, and we are in a place, we are positioned now in where we're headed. The future looks extremely bright where we are at right now. We are shipping product. We have a program called Ketopia. Many of you have been watching me and I've had people, because I haven't been as loud the last few weeks, simply because I've just been busy with life, with family and things. Like I said, it's not, it's not who I am. It's a part of what I do and I'm very committed to my team. We've been doing some incredible trainings together and growing together as a team. 
but just because you don't see me post about something doesn't mean I've gone anywhere. I'm fully 100% committed to Forever Green in terms of my, my business efforts and what I'm doing in team building. So if you have questions about what's happening with Forever Green, if you've heard things that make you question what's happening, I invite you to reach out to me so we can have a very real, transparent, open conversation. The reality is that operationally, we're doing things to enhance as we speak. We're, we're doing some things that are very exciting that, you know, in any season of life, in any area of your life, when things feel challenging, are you going to just decide, I'm going to, to walk away and look for something easier and, and look where the grass is greener, or am, am I going to water the grass where I'm at and prosper where I'm planted? So, you know, again, this was not one specific message, but I haven't, you know, or topic. I haven't done a video in the last couple weeks, and I just wanted to bring some people up to speed. If there's any question in your mind, you know, my heart and my passion is the message about restoring families and speaking life into marriages. And that's, that's who I am. That's what I stand for, and that's something on a daily basis I get to do through individuals in my team and outside of my team. And that's something, that, that's something I'm called to. That's my, I guess, marketplace ministry, if you will. So I wear a lot of hats. I do a lot of things. But from a business standpoint, I'm wholeheartedly committed to Forever Green and where we're going and what we're doing. And I know that uh, we are positioned to do some amazing things. So if you've had any doubt or question in your mind about Forever Green, reach out. Let's have a conversation about that. If in your marriage you're feeling and you're still listening right now, and maybe you're not in the home business industry, you're not even an entrepreneur, and you're just curious about what I'm talking about. If you are struggling in different areas of your life and you're looking to put the blame on someone else, take responsibility for where things are at in those different areas of your life that you're not happy with. You know, choose to be all in. Stop tiptoeing around and just looking outside of, of what you have right in front of you that can be amazing and can be complete and whole. And while things may not be perfect right now in any given area of your life, take responsibility for what you bring, how you show up, and things can start to really shift in a positive direction. So, you know, those things were just on my heart. Take it for what it is. If you have questions about anything I spoke about, if you're curious about a relationship with Jesus, if you are interested in a home-based business and forever green, if you are looking for someone that can hold you accountable and speak life into your relationship right now because things are suffering, those are things that I stand for. That, that's just stuff that I'm really passionate about. So I love you. Whether we've spoken or not, know that I, I really do. I care about you. And I would love to have a deeper conversation with you. So I will see you on the next video. Have an amazing day.